Zebra wood. Yeah, because it, it looks like a zebra. See? Oh, I'm cool. Check this out. Zebra wood. <laughs> <laughs> Should we talk about the painting? Let's do the painting. Hold on. Under everything that is, you know, geometrical, I put a sort of a chaos, like underneath, and then out of the chaos, I try to find, you know, relations. <laughs> this is uh, 72 inches by 96. It's um, oil on canvas, and I wanted, you know, to create something, you know, just, you know, the way I I create something. Yeah, before I put, you know, the geometric, you know, um, you know structure on it. So this is going to be the I base, would, basically, uh, yeah, to a certain degree. I mean, this would be the base, but I wanted it so, you know, that the chaos is actually the painting. So this is, so, uh, 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 so I basically, you know, switched myself around. I, you know, thought the other way around. Okay, okay. Like the opposite way. So what is the, what is the, you did this with brush, every stroke, well, all the well, different uh, size brushes? No, it's one size uh, brush, and I'll show you. This is sort of a tool that I use. It's made out of silicone. Let's see. The silicone tool. Oh, so you're drawing with this thing. And I cover the whole uh, canvas with um, a layer of, you know, thick, uh, um, let's see, paint. It's, uh, it's oil paint and it has like, a, like it's a monochrome. This is a monochrome uh, gray. And I wait for it to dry just a little bit. And then I just begin like in one corner. Bam, bam, bam. And I go over here. Uh, then I take another one because I have two <laughs> and then I do parallel you know motions like this everywhere and I don't stop until I think it's you know finished and it usually takes uh, this one took me like you know two and a half hours and Inclu was, with the base including with the base no, uh, the, no, uh, not with the base uh, yeah, just uh, the lines uh, yeah, just the lines yeah, two and a half hours of constant uh, emotion uh, without taking a break oh, that's <laughs> crazy uh, two and a half hours i had my music on ah so, nice so you know that would help i would step back you know check it out yeah but now it's all i know when it's finished it's, it's finished. done okay cool, <laughs> cool 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 okay what did the so this is the one painting you've been working on do you like you said you like that one oh, yeah, do you want to bring this one over? let's yeah. bring that one over Okay, this one's also finished. I mean, many people don't like it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's move the camera. Let's see the... Oh, I'm going to bring it over here so we can see yeah. a good size on it. Okay, uh, uh, should I start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Dirk. Okay, this is... Uh, uh, this painting I base on the golden uh, uh, rectangle. This is a golden rectangle. And the golden rectangle here is sort of like here. Okay, that's the golden rectangle sort of in there. But I... I made it bigger, you know, to, you know, to oh. fit. And uh, so the golden rectangle is, is basically, you know, the darker part. In oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And I actually painted, you know, you have three golden rectangles on there before. I covered everything up uh, with gray and with a blue gray. Each segment se separately, different. Each, each golden rectangle differently, different color, uh, yeah? Uh, like, a, like a different color. And then I just, you know, smeared everything up with um, I have black and gray and blue-gray paint. And then I took an oil stick, which is also like a sort of oil paint. Uh, I mean, it's oil paint. And I, you know, I drew on there what I, you know, wanted to, you know, have for that day. I don't know. I was like thinking about, I mean, here's uh, the golden... <laughs> oh yeah, right there, small version, yeah, 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 scaled small down. version of it. What do you call this? Did you call this TV? What? Uh, this is called TV because when I, you know, watch TV, I feel sick. <laughs> I just, you know, all the voices, all the voices. <laughs> and, and, uh, Chaos. You know, this is, you know, what I, you know, get. You um, just get a bunch of garbage, and this is like a, like something, you know, coming out you. Uh, that's why you love it. And, uh, it's like it wants to, you know, like absorb you, but. <laughs> okay. It absorbs me sometimes. Ah, you know, cool. This is all noise, basically. It's just noise, 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 noise. Which you know, for me, it doesn't have any you know meaning. But you know, uh, you know, a uh, scene like this with you know the title TV, it just works. Uh, you know, for me, this is. I mean, it's uh, totally contrary to all my other you know work. But I have to do this in order to do the other stuff. To clear your head. 
to get rid of what you need to get rid of. Like I'm working on, you know, something like this. Okay, so, you know, uh, I mean, that's a contrast. That's a contrast, you know, to this, you know, completely. And it has to be because otherwise, you know, I couldn't do this, I'd go crazy doing this. And if I only do this, I would go crazy doing only that because uh, there would be no, you know, no sense in anything. Can we, sh can we show the painting that you're doing in the, that you did on the, in the other room with oh, the sure. face? No, oh, sure, I mean, I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, We can actually put this in front of that. Cool, let's, let's make sure it shows up. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. Okay, these are, these are all basically, uh, you know, black and grays and dark blues. And these paintings, you know, are, you know, the absolute contrast to what I normally do. But I, as I said before, I use, you know, basically one of these guys as a background. And then I cover it up, you know, with, you know, lines or with something that I can, like, understand. I mean. So there's, the, the, like, this one you can see, there's, like, tons of grid uh, patterns on it. Not, not grid, just uh -huh, chaos yeah, in the background. Uh, there's chaos in the background. And a grid and, and art. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, well, that's like arches. Uh, that's like, you know, two sets of lines and, uh, you know, curves, you know, which I like. I like curves, uh -huh. you see here and there. Cool. Uh, I love curves. And um, here, this is called uh, uh, transmigration. A transmigration is when, you know, you die. And like in that moment, I mean, uh, when one dies, and in that moment, you know, your soul, you know, transmigrates over to somebody else's, you know, body, uh, um, you know, who's, you know, uh, you know, you know, who's being born at that same, you know, moment, or who's, like, you know, receptive. I don't know if you can see this, but, you know, this is like a mouth, you know, that's, uh, that's opening, here's the chin, um, here's the nose, here's uh, the eyes and the forehead. I mean the you know you know you know the back of the the head. It's like an old man, you know, going. <coughs> you know you you know you know just you know. You know, passing away basically. Yeah, I wish I hope you can see this because uh, when Dirk showed me this, he goes, "What do you think about this painting?" I said, "Oh, I love it. It's like chaos. It's like dark and sort of chaos and just there's a lot of different artwork here, right? It 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 stands out from some of the other stuff that he's doing." And then he goes, can you see the face? I was like, what, what face? And he actually pointed out and looked at it for a few seconds. And all of a sudden I just saw it and it just, it, it blew me away, right? Uh, so I seriously hope you can see it uh, because it's brilliant, okay? And it's oil on wood and it doesn't have a sheen to it because I, because I manage, you know, the colors very well. You know, you normally like oil paints you know, has a sheen to it and it really, you know, it distracts and this is very, very matte. So how do you, how do you get rid of the um, sheen? Well, the thing is, I mix all the oil paint with a lot of turpentine and there's no like oil. So it's just basically, you know, a layer of, you know, thin, you know, layers of, you know, turpentine and, and like oil paint and it, oh, you know, okay. it, it takes um, about a, um, you know, 24 hours, you know, to dry so I can do the next layer, you know, the next day. So, so, uh, so this is basically, I don't know, five or six or seven, you know, layers. So is each layer a different color uh, or do yeah. you mix it up? Well, well um, um, I mix it up usually. You mix it up usually. Uh, because okay. there's a blue here, you saw that. I mean, yeah. that's like earlier, you know, you know, the black was, you know, done, you know, later. Okay. Okay. Or before. Yeah. You know, and then it gives that. Okay, okay, cool, cool. So these are like basically three of the paintings you've, or four of the paintings. The, this one, the grid one, is, is still active. Like this one is, uh, uh, you're well still working on. Yeah, I still yeah. have to, uh, uh, now I might, you know, just, you know, bring some, you know, dimension into it. I okay, know. okay. But these ones I basically, just... these three are done. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So basically, in, in, in the last, since we last talked to you, you were doing a serious grid pattern, like organized. Yeah, uh -huh, Since that time, organized. you've gone through doing something that's just like uh, yeah. uh, uh, chaotic. Chaotic. Uh, so you switch up between mm -hmm. sort of cha organized and chaos, and what you yeah, and in between that, I can bring in something that's you know totally, totally, you know, sort of like op art. Let's check it out. What kind of art? Um, op art. <laughs> like op art. What's op art? Well, you can show it. Let's yeah. see. Okay, this is a canvas. Okay, oh. This is a canvas that I folded. 
and it turns out, you know, to look like this. Let's take a look. And I, see this? you know, basically, I mean, that's what it looks like from the side. <laughs> so canvas folded. Canvas folded and then mounted on wood and then painted with oil. Mounted on wood back like here. Oops, so let's bring it down. Here, let's, uh, I'm going to take this closer to the... So mounted on wood, yeah. right? And just hangs like this, as you can see. So is it? It gives it, you the uh, the, uh, the illusion of you know something going like this way and something going down. And you gave it cuts. Uh, the, uh, uh, well, the cu uh, the cuts are the. You know, this was basically just one long piece of canvas that I had over from stretching here the big one. Oh, okay, okay. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I don't like to throw things away, so I like to keep everything, and uh, this is, uh, you know, I painted it first, I made it really long, and then I cut it in half, and I put a section here, and slid one end into the other. Oh, okay, yeah. And I flipped it, so it, so it uh, you know, gives you the illusion of, I mean, basically, this is like the same thing, except it's... Oh, it's the other side. It's the other side, exactly. Ah, that's cool. Again, you're working with optical illusions, basically. Uh, 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 this is a total, uh, like, optical illusion. That's why I call it op art. Op art. Op art. Ah, that's uh, what uh, it... Um, it's like Vasarelli. You know, Vasarelli, he's, ah. a, he's a painter uh, who lived in France, and he made, you know, uh, beautiful, you know, paintings, like, in the 60s and 70s, um, like, it was op art. So oh. It was, so it just, like... Pops uh, out. Um, optical illusion. Optical illusion. Oh, okay. Optical illusion. Uh, Op yeah. art. Okay, okay. Like the contrast, you know, to this and to that, uh, because you know that's what it's about: experimenting, you know, finding new boundaries. Yeah. And you know. Like, and there, there must be there must be art that you do that you like. No, I don't like this. I'm doing it over, or trashing oh, sure. this. Trashing this. Uh, well, uh, um, I mean, this I was going to throw away, but then I, you know, painted the, uh, the lines over it. Yeah. And then I just, you know, started to put, you know, lines over it. Just layer it. Yeah. And now, you know, it's beginning to take shape. Yeah. Okay, cool. I don't know, you know, what it is. I don't know what this is. <laughs> let's, take a, let's take a look at some of your structures. Let's I take a look at some of your structures. Because be your structures are... Here, let's do a different... Okay, I'm going to put this... Okay. I'm going to change the camera and take a look at some of the... Um, sculptures basically uh, Dirk has, uh, has been working on uh, at the same time that he's been working on these paintings right so there's a lot of uh, uh, he's, he's gone ballistic he's just going uh, crazy with the artwork and putting stuff together okay uh, so angles angles how are we gonna do this